we're going to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the new uh, Galactic Conquest map. Um, uh, let's put that there. The new the Galactic Conquest map particle. I changed. The, I I played around with the particle a little bit that is um, generating the stars and comets and all that stuff on the Galactic Conquest map. Um, made a few changes here and there, left and right. I mean, I doubt you would see it. Unless you know what to look for, but I just wanted to show it off anyway. Go there and spec a top line machine. And tell me I'm out of line. Well, first of all, you don't go to some rando website that tries to sell you something. Because then you're going to end up paying more. Anyway. Um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, new Collect Conquest map. Obviously, you've already seen this. The new location of the icons and stuff. Um, new, new zoom and stuff. Basically what happened here is I changed where the stars spawn. The background was also changed. It is now the normal um, the normal star field background, which emphasizes the actual stars on the GC uh, template, which as you can see are the slightly brighter. I'm not even sure if this with the current bitrate translates to Twitch, but you can see the uh, slightly brighter dots uh, in the galaxy here. And they kind of, if you, if you look at this ring, for example, they kind of stop where the galaxy stops, right? Now, when you zoom in, you can still kind of see them all around here. Um, and if you look, uh, of course, in the um, in the center of the galaxy, they kind of spawn in a circle. And then as you get further out, they spawn in a cylinder. So in the center here, you will find some stars that are closer to the screen. Uh, and you'll also find uh, some comets uh, shooting around here and there. Now, they're fairly small. I may size them up slightly. Uh, let's see, can we can we find any comments here? I may have to size them up. Okay, yeah, there's one miniature one down there. They spawn a very large radius, though, so sometimes it's a little difficult to see them. Should probably make them spawn in, in the galaxy as well. Since they're just hard to find. Like, there's one. They stay for a lot longer, the devil, and there's a lot more of them, but they're also very the small, right? They're very soft, so it's, it's hard to really to find them. His head from side to side and glared with a sunken eye. I heard the spin of a rusty spur. Uh, anyway, that is, uh, that is, that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show up. Uh, change the, um, change the star spawn locations, and now they should be scattered around the galaxy a bit better. Uh, and of course, they are denser towards the center of the yeah. They kind of stop uh, before the end here, so yeah, you only really see the bright stars in the galaxy themselves, and then this is just, this is just this. I was thinking about replacing the actual outside with like actual galaxies, like uh, with images from NASA and such, so you saw small galaxies scattered around. I felt like this was better. I didn't actually try it, but I feel like this is gonna just work the period. It doesn't take attention away from the Galactic Congress map. Whereas the other one definitely would take away from the focus. And with the subtlety of the effect currently, I really feel like this is gonna work better. Uh, is there any plans to put corresponding ground units on the special planets? What does that mean? Like what you've done with it? Thank you. Thank you. Like a lot more than the holographic one myself, it was definitely due for an update. Um, the holographic Galactic Conquest map, um, I've said it before, it needed a bit more work to really be complete. Uh, I never ended up doing that extra work, so we just ended up looking... We'll call it bad, but it definitely wasn't good. So uh, eventually, after a bit of work, I, I tweaked it into this. You know, the planets now have their textures back and such. I tweaked the angles a little bit here and there. And in general, it looks far more like the original Empire War map, actually. Uh, but with everything smaller, right? You get smaller planets, you get smaller, uh, as I said, the, um, the fleet icons of um, everything. It's just... It's a bit small. Though the information panels, things like the number of uh, starbase levels, ground levels, stuff, 
as well as this. That was all the kept the same size, right? You still have the uh, same size of names, the information panels, that all shit. It's also a lot easier now to see which planets have uh, special units buildable on them, like Haves with the, uh, not the Battle Dragon, the uh, Nova Cruiser, uh, Ringo Vinda with the Republic units, Malachor, and Rakata with the Old Republic units, you know, the, the icons above the planets now stand out a lot more. And everything else was just made more subtle, everything really. Though I think I made the comments a little bit too subtle, let's actually go. Let's actually go. Uh, 